Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are listening to Bad Omens, Somebody Else. Um, oh, wow, my mind went black there. <laughs> today we are listening to Somebody Else by Bad Omens off of the album, The Death of Peace and Mind. Getting near the end to the album now, I think there's only like a couple of songs that I haven't actually listened to. Hopefully I'm going to be done by Sunday. Not got a lot to say really, apart from that the album's been really good so far. We've had a lot more soft, cleaner songs than heavy songs. So the only heavy songs I can really think of right now, Concrete Jungle, like the heart at the end of it, and um, Artificial Suicide. We shall see what we have coming up in this one. Let's listen to somebody else. Well, let's listen to something else other than my voice. I wish I could be able to make piano sound this good on like my Logic Pro, honestly. We've got some weird choir vocals in the background a little bit. Sounds like a heartbeat. It's kind of like mumble rap. There's the name of the song. Oh, mate, this is nice. This is really good. What, this, uh, this is like a bit house music, really, isn't it? Am I wrong there? Or oh, like lo-fi, like chill step. This flows a lot faster here as well. Flows is so different. It's like more rhymy. It's more soft. And, and as I said, mumble rap. I know he's not mumbling. He's kind of like like monotone. Well, he's not even monotone. But he's quite low speaking. It's like he's like whispering. It's kind of like a Billie Eilish. You kind of feel not a hundred percent, but you get what I mean. The music in the background, though, it all sounds electronic. It doesn't feel like there's any actual instruments in this song by his voice. The voice sounds really good, very high this time, once again showing off that vocal range as this whole album has done the whole time. It's really nice and different. This is a very different song compared to the rest of the album. Like the whole album has just been like separate individual standalone songs, but they all tease a little bit of something else from a different song in the album, and I really like that. It really pulls the whole album together. Let's keep going. You are too close to Fooled me and you did it well, I thought you were somebody else. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but I like it. I didn't hear that last word there, but... see like a, a female um, artist like covering this song and really making it like a little bit more poppy a little bit more not R&B you know that kind of feeling to it because this song is like so different to what you'd think like a, a metal band would do it is kind of a bit of a shock I've gotten over it now like the whole album's been like that the whole way through so I am literally just taking everything by what it sounds like, no kind of preconceptions of what I think the band is and what they do. And you know what? It just shows how talented these people are that they can make a song like this and it actually slaps. I don't know where the word slaps coming. I think I've said that in my last two videos.
videos. Ooh. This is just one of those songs I can just imagine having on like late at night, all the lights are off, TV's on, I'm just chilling, I'm just vibing, I've got this going on in the background, or I don't know, I'm driving in my car late at night thinking I'm like a gangster, even though I'm not really a gangster, even though I'm not really a gangster. The song isn't really that kind of like hard in that way, it's, it's quite soft really, isn't it? Probably more chance of seeing me driving around at night crying to this song or crying on my own in my, in my flat. I can see like Fiat 500 Twitter, if you don't know that, it's an English thing, look it up. Loads of girls kind of like getting this tattooed on their arm or something or putting up one of those things on Facebook where it's just like a post that like your 50 year old mum has just put up or that, that weird friend of yours who just shares too much shit. That is no criticism to the actual song itself, I'm just saying about how people would use it. I love this bit though. It really like brightens it up, livens it up a little bit. It, it makes it like it's not all doom and gloom. And the drums in the background are just popping off the whole time. I mean this could even be a guitar with just like loads of effects on it. Decent. I like that. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, mate, that is nice. I thought the song was finished. I love, I love this kind of sound, man. It's so atmospheric, it's so like surround. Fit, oh, it's just, I'm not making any sense, but. Oh, that was nice, that little boom, boom, boom at the end and then just fading out. Really cool, really different, really enjoying it. You know, every time I do a reaction video on these guys now, like, I'm, I'm more kind of like looking forward to being surprised and being kind of like proved wrong and being kind of like, you thought this is what you were gonna get, but we're gonna give you this instead. And you know what? You're not even gonna hate it. You're actually gonna like it. And that is exactly what's going on. So yeah, really different um, genre, really. Really different type of music there, completely different. But I feel like I'm saying that about every song at the moment, that every song they brought out, oh, that's completely different to this. That's completely different to that. Eventually when I listen to the whole album as a whole, I'll probably go, yeah, the whole album sounds exactly the same. I don't think I will be saying that. You couldn't have a song like this go on like their debut album or Finding God Before God Finds Me. I think it would be so out of place, but on this album, everything seems to have its own place and they complement each other all very well. So uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about that. Let me know what you think about the album. Is it exactly what you're expecting? Got a couple of songs left. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Um, see you then.